What's up guys, today I'm finally back with another video, and today I'm going to be predicting where I believe the top 10 free agents will sign in this offseason. The first and best free agent in this 2019 free agent class is Kevin Durant, and there's a lot of talk of him re-signing with the Warriors, or him joining the Knicks, or maybe going to the Lakers, but I personally believe he's going to sign with the New York Knicks. I say this because the Knicks have two max contracts which they could give to him, maybe Kyrie Irving or an all-star. And I say this because if the Warriors win a ring this year, KD will probably want to prove himself somewhere else, just like LeBron did when he went back to Cleveland and try to prove that he can win a ring without a super team. The second free agent that I will be talking about is Kawhi Leonard. And my prediction for Kawhi Leonard is pretty simple. I personally believe he'll just re-sign with the Toronto Raptors. But there is still chances that he goes to the Clippers or maybe even the Lakers because... I don't know, you never really know about Kawhi. The third free agent I'll be talking about is Kyrie Irving. And although he did say he would re-sign with the Celtics, a lot has changed since the beginning of the season. And now personally, I personally believe that Kyrie Irving will be a Los Angeles Laker during the free agency. I just think that because all the talk between him and LeBron and him saying he's sorry for what he did and realizing it isn't that easy to lead a team, especially with all those young guys, and he continues to take a few shots of them. So I feel like he'll just spice things up and join the Lakers with LeBron. The fourth free agent is Kemba Walker. And for Kemba, I think it'll be pretty simple. I don't even believe he'll meet with any other teams. I think like pretty much the first day, the Hornets will offer him like a super max, maybe at least $180 million for five years. And Kemba Walker, a loyal player, I just can't see him with another team. We'll obviously take that. And that will just be Michael Jordan repaying Kemba for playing all well and being a loyal to the franchise. Hopefully they could get him some help soon. The fifth guy I'll be talking about is Klay Thompson. And I think if the Warriors don't offer him a super max or a deal with a lot of money, he won't sign there. He might go to the, um, the Lakers maybe. And if, if they get Anthony Davis or another all-star, that'll make it really hard for Klay Thompson to decide because the Lakers are his hometown. But I could easily see the Warriors offering him like a really good deal and taking it like on the first day, which won't even give him time to meet with other teams. The sixth free agent I'll be talking about is DeMarcus Cousins. And if they don't re-sign KD, I think he'll go to the Warriors, just re-sign there again. But if they do re-sign Kevin Durant, then it's going to be really hard to re-sign DeMarcus Cousins. So my prediction is that DeMarcus Cousins goes to... The Clippers. The Clippers do got a lot of money, and I don't know if they'll be able to get, like, two All-Stars. I think they have two Supermax contracts that they're willing to spend this offseason. And if they only get, like, maybe, like, Kawhi Leonard, then the Marcus Cousins for, like, $15 million would be a good deal for a team like the Clippers. The seventh free agent I got is Jimmy Butler. And personally, I think he's going to re-sign with Philadelphia if they give him the money he asked for and do pretty well in the playoffs. But if Jimmy Butler asks for a max contract, I have him going to the Clippers because the Philadelphia 76ers are not going to be willing to pay Jimmy Butler a max contract just because he hasn't really been playing that well with the Philadelphia 76ers this year. And not to mention, they do have to pay players like Tobias Harris. And in the long run, they got to pay Ben Simmons. And that brings me to my eighth free agent, Tobias Harris. And what I think the Philadelphia 76ers are going to do is just pretty much just re-sign Tobias Harris because it's the first year he's playing pretty well so far and he just seems like a good fit for the Philadelphia 76ers and would be a great addition to keep all of them together. The Dimes free agent I have on the list is Chris Milton for Chris and the Milwaukee Bucks. I think it's going to be really easy to re-sign him knowing he's having his best career season thus far right now. And he's the second best player for the Milwaukee Bucks. And if the Bucks do go on for a good playoff run and maybe even make the finals, the conference finals, they're going to want to re-sign Chris Middleton. The 10th and last free agent on my list is Kristaps Porzingis. And for him, he recently got traded to the Dallas Mavericks and has yet to play a game this season. And many officials and team advisors believe he won't play a game this season. So I think they're just going to re-sign him to try to get him paired up with Luka Doncic and see how well they could perform together and maybe make the playoffs this next season. Those are just 10 of the best free agents in the 2019 
stacked free agency. There are other players like Al Horford, Nikola Vucevic, Eric Bledsoe, Marcus Saul, Julius Randle, DeAndre Jordan, and the list goes on. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video, and hopefully my predictions are correct. So please leave a like, subscribe, comment your predictions, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.